bodybuilding isn't a sport. Mm -mm. Bodybuilding is a pageant. Yeah. And the pageantry, the presentation is more important than what you yeah, bring everything. physique wise. You got a preferred way you like to do these or what's what's been your I'm kind of I'm a staggered foot guy. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. yeah. Staggered and then I'm more sort of right chest up. Okay. And here, so yeah. I'm getting more get this work. the rounding yeah. from here yeah. and here. And then as I squeeze, yep. I get the top of that peck. So it opens it up. Good deal, yeah. Same logic though applies guys here as it did with the dumbbells, right? We're not trying to do this. We're not trying to hug a tree. If anything, we're trying to make our elbows touch. So at the end, I should look like this, not this. Here, not here. Good instruction. Slow it down, guys. It's not about how many reps I can be able to push out, but it's about the quality of the reps. Look at the quality of the rep. Each and every set, making sure that each rep is targeting and hitting the muscle group that we want to focus on, right? Good work. Good work. Pushing all the way through those palms, extending that chest all the way out, keeping that chest up and out, and not letting those shoulders curl in as you get to a certain point. Sometimes you see guys, they'll get here and then they're doing this, mm -hmm. right? I'm not really working the muscle group. I'm not focusing on my chest at that point anymore. Yeah. I've lost all group, I've lost all muscle focus when I'm working like that. Good pump. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yep. yep. Yeah, you can feel it. One thing about it, you better stay hydrated. Oh yeah. Because that blood, it'll get to pumping. Woo. And you need that oxygen. Breathe. Whew. On each push, even that negative and controlling, as I come back into that full range of motion and opening up, getting that pec completely engaged all throughout the movement. It's not out here, right? Each moment of the movement is properly engaging. That chest, that feels good. And one thing you notice with both of us, even though we have a staggered stance, once we're locked in, we're locked. And the only thing moving is those arms. You see a lot of people get that momentum, right? It's like, and they're getting glutes, hands, hips, wheat, like knees, calves, all involved into a damn chest fight. It's like, well, no wonder your chest is still as small as it was when you were 12 years old. Yeah. Your legs have gotten a little bit bigger. Yeah. <sighs> See a lot of that. Get locked in, weight on the back foot. Boom. If you're somebody Boom. and you feel like you've plateaued and you haven't figured a way to be able to break out of that plateau, subscribe to the channel and begin to really start going through the station and really looking through each one of the series of workouts that we post, whether it's the shorter, whether it's the long footage. You can be able to get great tools and great knowledge to be able to break through that plateau. And if you need more, either one of us, hit us up with a message and we can be able to help you with some instructions as to how, even when you're prepping, you're going through and getting ready to get on that stage. Don't think that the body's recomping every month and you're having to go back and not having to go back and readjust. If I started out at 240, and by the time I got to the stage, I was 199. <laughs> you know? It's a big cut. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know, in my first, first go at it, that was my thing. Cut okay. down, okay. get as lean as I possibly yeah. could get. Not thinking how to be able to manage and maintain this size. Yeah. And at the same time. Is so that what you're on stage with 199? 199. And what are you right now? I'm at 230. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you should be like 215 on stage. Yeah, exactly. At least. I mean. As lean as you are right now, like. Going into it, I, I mean, my, my thing, like literally when I tell you the judge came from behind the, from behind the desk, behind the curtain and said, listen, hands down, right? You got two poses, you screw one up. 
<laughs> but hands down, across the board, you're number one in every category. Yeah. Right? You you're very well conditioned. Up there, it yeah. was just a presentation. But for me, it was one or the other. Yeah. You know, I got a family. I got a daughter. I can't spend four hours in training, in yeah. the gym training. Yeah. And then go and do three hours of posing, two yeah. hours of posing but every single day. That's See, that's where a lot of athletes struggle, though. Like, you're a former athlete. I'm going to assume that, right? Play, yeah. play, yeah, high yeah, level, yeah. high level you sport. Think that that's, you think you got it. Athletes, bodybuilding isn't a sport. Mm -mm. Bodybuilding is a pageant. Yeah. And the pageantry, the presentation it's everything. is more important than what you yeah, bring everything. physique wise. I mean, you know, I had guys tell me, dude, you need to get your eyebrows waxed, make sure you. And then the first day they get it, it's like, yeah, you got to shave every body bro, part, yeah. all the, everything. I was like, bro, what? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, but I understand it now. Mm hmm. Ooh, good. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Yep. Come on. Yep. One more great one. Nice work. Yeah. Have you seen have you seen Pumping Iron? Which no. With Arnold. Bro, okay. Oh Arnold. With Arnold. The like the documentary from the oh, 70s yeah, yeah, bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I think I think the opening to that movie is the perfect example of what we were just talking about. That movie opens up, Arnold and Frank are working with a ballerina mm, to understand the importance of it, yeah. flow. Yeah. A bodybuilding documentary yeah. opened up with the star of the movie yeah. working with a ballerina yeah. to understand the importance of flow, how everything ties together, how it's an artistic flow, all of that. Like That's, that's how funny. these guys at the highest level, think about it. I have buddies that have taken dance lessons Oh yeah. to be able to, to perform I'm, on stage. I'm telling parents now for young kids, like, he's going to hate me when I tell you this, and you're going to do it, but put him in ballet. Oh, yeah. Put him in ballet. He's 15 years old, and he's like a giraffe. Yeah. He has no understanding of his body whatsoever. I think I think every every young infant, four, three, four, five yeah, years yeah, old, yeah. by the time they can walk, needs to be in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To learn that Without physical body awareness. We got learn. a kid in the program now. I think Wait, are you with him. Taylor? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got a kid in there now. I think by the time he was 16, he grew to be about 6'4". <laughs> yep but he had been in gymnastics. Oh, dude, stud. I mean, came in, I mean, just cleaning up everything. Yep. But just amazing <clears throat> functional ability <clears throat> and just being able to manage those movements, like, you know, compound movements for him was so easy. Come on, push him through. There you go. Yep. There it is. Bro, you see these, these girls, man, these 14, 15 station old gymnasts, like, in the Olympics, bro, like, that's what the human body is capable of doing, man. Like, yeah. it's such a beautiful yeah. art, man. Yeah. Like, seeing the body flow the way it's naturally. My, my daughter being four, she was watching a cartoon. Okay. And I grew up in Dayton, Ohio. There was a lady by the name of Geraldine Blunden. She was an amazing dance choreographer for the Dayton Contemporary Dance Company. Yeah. And my cousins, they all danced for her and okay. under her. And she would tell me when I was a kid, I'm going to make you a star. I'm going to put you. And I'm like, man, I'm not putting on that tutu. <laughs> but now... I wish. Oh, yeah. I wish that I would have done that. Because, I mean, you see it. Like, look at their vertical leaps. Mm -hmm. Like, look at their ability to manage their body. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's insane. And then when you see a kid come in and they have none of that. Mm -hmm. And they're 16 years old. Yeah. And it's like, you just started playing? Or you think they're now training? Or you're going to get faster? You're going to get stronger? That's the funny part. Oh, I want him to get stronger. Oh, okay. I want him to get faster. Oh, okay. But do you think he should lift weights? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Come on. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. One great one. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I want to give I want to give the watches at home here one one cue as you were doing this. I noticed we both did this kind of instinctively, and I don't think we even caught it. So as 
Damon was doing it as, as was I. You guys might have not picked up on it. Where the cable's at though, the entire movement, is it is literally in line with the joint that is yeah. moving. One thing I see a lot of people do, and it's just due to lack of understanding, is they're gonna do their flies, but they're gonna do it here. So now my body has to do two things. Not only do I need to bring it here, but because this is not in line with the joints that's moving, this muscle has to stabilize this. Yeah. Now, if you're working a stabili stabilization workout, be great, but we're trying to maximize the tension within the chest. So we slowly, slightly lock that down, and then this can ride with my arm the entire time. Yeah. Now that to stabilize the weight, I can focus purely on contracting it. So it's a slight, slight adjustment, but there's a massive difference in that and that and how your body's gonna take the yeah. take the tension. So And totally just, you get more out of that angle. Mm -hmm. Right? Just small angles. Man, I watched Charles Glass and he could just turn the dumbbells a certain way. Yep. You don't have to have a lot. Yeah. And I mean it's just slow, contracted movements. Yeah. And just that little bit of a change versus yeah. you know here. Oh, yeah. And I gotta do five sets of 40 with 10 pounds yeah. to be able to try to get the same pump that I maybe get eight of them. Exactly, yep. Of those reps, quality reps, yeah. slow it down. Small cues. But yeah, those 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 points that he's that he's saying is are very critical when you're talking about, even with benching, like sitting down on the bench, arms here versus arms here, right? Roll, same thing, arms here versus arms here. Where you're trying to really contract that muscle and where you're really trying to engage that muscle, you gotta begin to start getting that body yeah. connected to the muscles. Um, some biceps. Let's go. Let's roll.